announced flight 707 from Frankfurt has just landed. Welcome to Tanzania, Jambu Habari. Mr. Butler, we're in Africa. And it's about time too. Uh, oh, excuse me, please. Uh, what is it? May I? Why, of course. Jumbo? Jumbo. Jumbo? What do you say? Jumbo Habari. Oh, how do you do? Uh, my name is Butler. James Butler. Don't be silly. Jumbo Habari isn't her name. It's African for welcome. Oh, how delightful. Jumbo, Jumbo. <laughs> well, Angie Joe, what does it feel like to be back home again? Just great. Oh, and I really meant what I said. Should you come down to Rufiji, Jumbo Habari, just look us up and we'll make you feel at home. <laughs> and bring your queen with you. If you wait a moment, I'll introduce you right away. <laughs> just a wee moment. Hi, Nick. Nice to see you again. Uh, Mr. Hallmark. Yes? You're looking very well, Nick. You know me? We know each other. Hmm. Are you sure you're not making a mistake? I am Nick Hallmark, but I'm a bachelor. I've been flying this plane for two years now, and, uh, and my hobby is... Your hobby is driving fast cars, and you won the last East African rally. Your mother taught you good manners, and your father taught you to be self-reliant. Right? It sounds like <laughs> the old man himself speaking. Who told you all that about me? You told me yourself, while you were unsuccessfully trying to undress me. I was undressing you? <laughs> You're a stewardess. <laughs> no, I'm not a stewardess. Uh, let me see, it was Paris. No, our love nest was on the floor of the attic of the boathouse, down on the Rufiji River. You mean... <laughs> and she's a little girl who used to wear pigtails. Mm, cousin of us back at work. <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt you, Nick, but we're anxious to find out if you brought it back with you. Of course, it's being unloaded. Hey, you up there, hurry. The plane has to be ready to fly in an hour. Hurry up, there's more to be unloaded. But I thought the car was to be unloaded before the boat. Oh, you better talk to the mad Scotsman about that yourself, Captain. Mm. <laughs> jumbo, jumbo! Oh. <laughs> well, Angie, what do you think? My queen, the 16th. The 16th? Well, yes. Uh, the first 15 didn't last too long. <laughs> Tell me, does your queen always blow so much wind? Well, you should consider it an honor, sir, that your crate was permitted to stand next to my queen during the whole flight. Good day. What's that you brought with you? Your secret weapon for the next rally? Right out of a James Bond movie. If this noble vehicle you're scorning would have taken part in the last rally, you wouldn't have won. You mean to say you think your air cushion could beat his car in a rally? Huh? Well, you mustn't judge by appearances. And it would depend on the route you took. The same checkpoints would be used, but the actual route would be left to the discretion of the driver. Hear that nonsense? It's quite obvious that a racing car is twice as fast as that vacuum cleaner. Only on an asphalt road. Very well, I'll bet you on that. I suggest we meet at the club for a drink. It'll be more comfortable there and we can discuss all the details. See you at five, then. Have you heard the news, Nick? Our friend Mother just flew in from the States with a new car for her husband. Hi, Howard. It's quite a car. Bobo sure will be surprised. You mean to say you bought me a car over there? Absolutely the best I could find. Imagine, last year it won every single race in America. You mean you brought it with you, right here, for me? Yes. <laughs> oh, look, they're delivering it now. <laughs> you call that a racing car? Who sold you that wreck? Well, it's like this. They're selling a lot of props and furniture very cheaply in Hollywood nowadays, and I got this at a very reasonable price. No, no. That heap, you won't catch me dead in it. No, sir. Now you just listen to me. You either drive that car in the Africa rally or stay at home. Jumbo Habari, that's how we say hello. Jumbo Habari, let's make our friendship grow. Jumbo Kwaheri, that means goodbye, my friend. Jumbo Kwaheri, I hope we meet again. Oh, Jumbo Kwaheri, I hope we meet again. Come down to Africa, it really isn't far. The living's great down there. There's plenty of fresh air, the sun shines all night long. The monkeys sing a song. You see the bluest seas, you see the pious trees. The girls are full of spice. 
And when you go on safari, you say, Jumbo, her body, welcome to this paradise. And when you go on safari, you say, Jumbo, her body, welcome to this paradise. I never would have thought that Africa was so beautiful. Fascinating. <gasps> Listen, we're training for the East Africa safari, the world's most difficult rally. Training? You should be happy that this old jalopy keeps on going and doesn't break down completely. Oh! Stop! My seatbelt is fast! <laughs> Stop! Stop, I say! I'm feeling sick! Is that the way... Is that the way you'll drive for the rally? Ouch! My head! Oh! You're making the animals crazy! Oh! Look out! A rhinoceros! Don't irritate him! Please don't! Oh, now he's stopping! Get out of the way! Ah, oh, my tummy! My tummy! Oh. Baba, we're driving in the wrong direction! Oh, oh look! A ferocious giraffe! The rhinoceros! It's coming our way! Faster! I told you not to irritate him! Oh! They're charging! Uh, what are you doing in the back of the car? I thought you were driving, eh? Mm -hmm. Jumbo habari, mm -hmm. da da da. Jumbo habari, da 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 da. Oh, damn it! I'm beginning to wonder about this car. The gas pedal doesn't work. The brakes don't work. The steering wheel doesn't work. I want to get out. Me too, but the doors won't open. Hey, you, come back. <laughs> Look, the doors open. Let's get out of here, quick. Wait for me. Let's get away before it takes off again. Come on, hurry. What? In there, but what if the light says, come on. Hey, you. That was my bike you ruined. You can have my car instead. A splendid specimen. You can keep it. Come on, pizza, let's get out of here before he finds out. Oh, dear me. Hmm. Well, you don't exactly look like a splendid specimen. Funny people. Running away like that. And leaving the little fellow back in the bush. You know how long I've been saving for a car like you? But I never made it somehow. Well, how about it? Shall we two become partners? I guess I could do with a friend out here. Salam is that way. You think the wild animals can... Oops, excuse Pizza. me. If you step on my heels once more, you'll be sorry. Please, not so loud. A lion, my dear you. Joe, you really shouldn't go through the bush on your own when you visit the sick. Ben, I'm the only doctor for miles around, and the natives trust me and need my help. And as far as the wild animals are concerned, you know how well I get on with them. Mm-hmm. And I also know it's no use trying to get you to do something you don't want to. You're too hard-headed for that. Joe, don't move away from the car, but we've got a visitor. Hello, Nanny. Why are you so excited? Been having trouble with your husband? What's the matter? Hmm? 
What's wrong, Nanny? Are you hurt? Let go at once. What is it, Nanny? Nanny! Help, Ben! Help! Oh, let me down, Nanny! Oh! Let me down at once, I say! Oh, are you hurt? Let me have a look. There, now, that's better. Could you give me a... Why are you standing there with a gun in your hand? Oh, I thought he was going to, uh... First of all, it's a she, and secondly, will you bring me the bandage from the car, please? Why don't you take Angie with you on your rounds? <coughs> Angie was shopping in Europe. We're badly in need of medicine. I was just going to fetch her. Alcohol. It's empty. Oh, but you've got some on you. I do, whatever. Hey, what are you doing? Would you kindly get your trunk <laughs> off my chin? That's right, Nanny. Here, give it to me. Here. <clears throat> Don't worry about him. He drinks enough as it is. Go on, stop acting. Don't pretend this is hurting you. Tell me, Joe, this medicine must be kind of expensive. The Institute in Europe let me have credit when they found out that the epidemic had already caused four deaths. Now, let me down, Nanny. Your foot. Come on. That's it. Ah! Oh. But as far as paying back the credit is concerned, I really don't know how I'm going to do it. Let's go. There, now. Go back to your husband. Isn't Nanny another of your not paying patients? My husband and I released her from a pitfall once, and she's never forgotten it. You've worn nothing but your late husband's clothes for some time now. Well, it's practical in the jungle. Besides, clothes cost money. Joe, Dudu and I are going to get that money you need for the medicine. And how do you intend to go about it? We're taking part in the East Africa Rally. The East Africa Rally? But Dudu wasn't built for a rally. Built or not built, that's not the question. Ben, listen to me. Every year I have to sew up at least half a dozen of those crazy rally drivers. You needn't worry. Nothing's going to happen to us. This little love bug will manage all right. Besides, it's not the car that counts. It's the driver. Why did you throw it in reverse? Strategy. I'm taking a running start, if you don't mind. Excuse me, are you looking for someone? Uh, Jumbo, sir. Jumbo. I'd like to register my doo-doo for the rally. Your what? Your doo-doo? Yes. Doo-doo is Swahili, and it means something like love bug. I'm sure you remember her. Besides, you left your bicycle in the bush. Why, yes, so I did. You haven't changed your mind regarding the exchange, have you? No, no, of course not. Good. Then I'll leave the love bug here with you. Just a minute, my friend. What's all the hurry? You see, my dear friend, before you can take part in the rally, certain requirements have to be fulfilled. You mean the fees? Yes, that too. Nothing against you personally, you understand, but your car here, I mean, after all, the East Africa Rally is the most difficult rally in the world. Actually, I don't need the prize money for myself, but for a clinic. Hmm, wait a minute. There's that fellow from Scotland. It's just possible I can get you registered as his co-pilot. Start and finish is Dar es Salaam. We've chosen the various national parks as checkpoints. The only difficulty I can see will be finding a suitable service car for the cushion flight, to say nothing of finding a good co-pilot. And what if I pay my co-pilot 50%? We're rally drivers, not rally flyers, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing doing. Well, Mr. Butler, no one here seems to want to fly with you. I'm very sorry. Very well, then. I'll go on that rally on my own. What? Mm -hmm. Just a minute. You want to swing on that thing all alone through the bush? <laughs> Tell you what, if you really make it, I promise to cover the whole route again. 
a mad bike. <laughs> Very well. I agree, sir. I accept your challenge. Okay. Mr. Butler, without a service car, you haven't got a chance. That's true. But I think I found someone for you. No, thanks. Uh, I can do without him, all right. <clears throat> Just the same. I'll have him speak to you. Don't forget, Mr. Butler. We're driving through wild animal reservations, and that can be dangerous. <laughs> if you're afraid, you don't have to come along. My advice to you would be to try and find a propeller for your old jalopy. Now that would enable you, you see, to fly like a big bird in the air, as it were. Pretty good idea, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Well, Dudu, I guess we don't mind going along as a service car. Okay, I'll go and have a look at the cushion flight. Oh, and as far as the propeller is concerned, I'll find one. Latuki, Latuki, to get her into the shade. Turn right, I said. Ah, that's right, laddie. Jumbo, jumbo. Mr. Butler? Huh? Oh, jumbo, jumbo. I understand you're looking for a co-pilot. Ah, are you familiar with the terrain? Well, a few years ago we were fighting the tsetse fly, and during that period we managed to cover quite a bit of the country. Ah. Maybe you could also use a service car. Huh? Are you trying to be funny? That tin can? I'll manage a lot better with my love bug, I tell you. <laughs> can it fly? Fly? Don't you understand, laddie? The only way I can win this rally is by driving as the crow fly. Right through the country. Over mountains and through lakes. It's too rough for an ordinary car. Do you think you'd manage to drive along railway lines with it? I doubt it, laddie. So you'd better not waste my time with your love bug. Excuse me, but are you Mr. Mota? Yeah, but... <gasps> Who are you? I am Dr. Hyenamus. Oh, yeah. The spook. I'm told that you carry out delicate missions, huh? I'm prompt and discreet. I'm quite sure you've already heard of this Mr. Butler. Yes, sir. Listen carefully. I must beat the cushion flight, whatever happens. You hear? At any price. A little accident in the bush. No witnesses? No. I wouldn't want to hurt Mr. Butler. A mishap that wastes precious time. Well, do you think you can arrange that? Yes, sir. And once again, the giants of the road dive into the great East Africa safari adventure. The world's toughest rally is off once more. A cushioned flight vehicle competes this year, the first time in the history of the rally. But the experts foresee the floating cushions early elimination from the race. Mr. James Butler, the driver of the aeromobile, plans to overcome the faster speeds of the race cars by driving, or rather floating, from one checkpoint to the other as the crow flies, whereas the cars have to make long detours following the road. There goes Nick Hallmark, last year's winner in a Ford Capri. We have just had word that James Butler's flight vehicle has also just made its start. Hey, Sheriff, the crow flies along the coast. drivers, the cushion flight vehicle is actually making a beeline for the next checkpoint. Butler is now way ahead and there's no doubt about it, he's doing well. I can also make out an old small Volkswagen taking the direct route. If it can make it, then the racing car should be able to make it too. You know what? He's right. So we'll turn off over there.
waited for us, Mr. Butler. I'm convinced that's the last we have seen of Mr. Butler for some time. Yeah, at least for today. Jumbo Jumbo, lights of you to voice it for me, Mr. Hallmark. Just follow me as the crow flies. Jumbo Habari. <laughs> if he thinks he got rid of us, he's crazy. What will we do to the boat, Warner? It will look like an accident if it crashes down the Durango Falls. Help! Help, Mr. Butler! Help! Jumbo Buana, Dr. Yenemus got in touch with us and told us to warn you. There's a waterfall down the river. Waterfall? Ah, hi, the little fountain down there. I'll be able to avoid it. <laughs> he thinks he can avoid it. <laughs> well, thanks very kindly. <laughs> I'll avoid the waterfall, all right. But Dr. Yenemus doesn't want you to avoid the waterfalls. <laughs> Something's wrong. Let's check. Butler! Butler! He's drifting towards the falls. Go get the tow line from the car. Hurry! Hurry! 
I can't hold on any longer. I got it, sink. Hurry, we gotta tie it to the car. Uh, that'll do it. We gotta tow it in. trouble. Can I help you? Huh? He wants to help us. This is Airway Control speaking. We are over the Durango Falls. There is no sign of the cushion flight vehicle nor of the Ford Capri, which was the only racing car to leave the rally route and follow the airboat. Strange as it may sound, the little yellow Volkswagen is at this moment in the lead. That's Dr. Joe. She seems to be in trouble. Too late? I'm afraid so. He was hit in the eye with a poisoned arrow. There's not much more we can do. I can pull the arrow out. I've got some serum with me. I'll give him a shot. You just have to hold him still. What'd you say? Oh, go on. You've done it before. I don't like women who give orders. Quiet there, boy. Now we just want to help. You're wasting time, Ben. Hear that? We've got to hurry. Dr. Joe wants to give you a shot. I promise you it won't hurt a bit. I know she gave me one once. <coughs> there. I'm ready, Ben. You were right. I know Tusi Arrow. The two men are still around. Careful. There now. It'll be over right away. You're a good boy. Mm. Better if you drive on. They don't normally carry weapons on me. And how do you expect to deal with them on your own? <laughs> Since when do the Otusis use poison arrows for hunting? You're not blind and lame, are you? We need meat for waves and children. You're lying. You want furs. And the furs you want to exchange for whiskey so as to get yourself drunk. Careful, Buona. Our arrows kill men, too. I know that you two are stronger than I am. You want to take my car as well? In Dio. Land Rover. You may safe drive. They want you to go along. Just let them try. It's not going to be easy. You got fire? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hold it. You know, don't you, that there's poison on this. Get up, come on, get up, get up, undo your belt. Yes, your belt. And now put your arms beneath your belt. Are you taking part in the rally, Ben? Of course I am. Why? Haven't you wasted too much time? Sure, but I'll be able to catch up, all right. Now, this kill man, too. Buona, I was joking. Well, don't kill yourself laughing. Now go on, get out of here. And don't ever come back. <laughs> Nick, elephants. Better back away. Yes, you're right. Stop! We've got some behind the stoop. OK, 
Okay, Saint. Hurry up. Well, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Saint, a lion! Quick, get in! Hey, wait till I get my pants up! Find a quiet spot. Oh, 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 I think it's disgraceful looking over the bushes with their long necks. There must be a quiet spot somewhere. This looks all right. Jumbo, come along. That's right. Come along. Come along. There now. Free towing service. Come on a bit more. Slowly but surely. Yeah, you can do it. Careful, does it? That's it. That's it. Ah, there. Stop. Stop. Stop, I said. Don't you hear? Stop! Stop! I'm coming, lovebug! <clears throat> Hello, Nick. Congratulations. Thanks. You're the first to get here. Need coffee. Hello, Singh. Good evening. Coffee's on the way. What I wouldn't give to find out where Butler is now. So that's it. The Ngorongoro crater is generally considered to be the eighth wonder of the world. The crater lies approximately 7,300 feet above sea level and is about 2,500 feet deep. It consists of savannas, steppes and swamps. Oh, and animals abound in it. About 1,400 gnus, 5,000 zebra, 100 elephants and approximately 60 lions. Oh, lions. And 50 hyenas. Uh, what does he want? You planning to drive through there? You're just wasting your time, laddie. I'm not using your services. We'll have to follow him, Dudu. He'll never get out of here without help. Just look at that. He must be out of his mind. What I want to know is how's he going to get up the other side of the crater?
Rodeo. Look out! He just fall off. Yellow Volkswagen is Butler's service car? You mean was. Butler certainly isn't waiting for him. Come on, get off! There's a storm coming, and if I don't get out of here before it breaks, I'll never get out. Now go away, and don't come back. Get out of here, you stowaway. Your mommy's waiting for you. It's time for lunch. If she came here, she'd squash my love bug to pieces. Now go on, she's calling for you. Go on. Git, if you don't go, I'll get mad. Your mommy's waiting. She'll punish you if you don't get back. Don't you understand? I can't take you with me. Jean, my dear, everyone is now behind us. You mean we're completely alone? There's nobody we can follow? No, we're the leaders now. Isn't that fantastic? But I don't know the way. What? But neither do I. Go through there, Dudu. He's still standing in front of the swamp. What else do you want him to do? He would have to jump over it. Huh. Nothing would surprise me at this point. Well, you can write off the yellow bug. Yeah, don't be too sure. We made it. We better move. the top for him. He doesn't have a complete breakdown. There's not much we can do. Maybe you could drive us to the mission. The baby is very sick and has to be operated on. 
We don't have any more seats in the car. That doesn't matter. We can't sit on the floor. Will you drive us there? Well, you Wait see, a nurse, we... we're well ahead of everybody. But if we make this detour, we don't have a chance of winning the money. Did you say money? Well, yes, nurse. You see, we're taking part in this rally or car race, and the winner gets a lot of money. You understand? And, well, <clears throat> you see, I mean, you understand. I understand. We wouldn't want to be responsible for you losing your rally. What is a baby's life worth compared to a lot of money? The mission isn't far away. It's only 20 miles. Okay, you win, but hurry. Get in. Funny, I don't remember any mission around here. It's up north, not more than 30 miles away. Wait a minute, didn't you just say 20 miles? Well, I get mixed up when it comes to long distances. I'm sure 30 miles is right. What's the name of the uh, mission? Shouldn't we go now? But first, tell me the name of the mission. The name of the mission is Buzegway. It's over 60 miles. 60 miles. Hmm. Get out, we have to wait here. Okay, forget it. Go on, get in. How about a drink, Sheriff? You can stop now, you know. You've made it. I've got the old beverages, thanks. Your boat's just sailed away, Sheriff. No! Stop! Please! Stop, Lassie! Ah! Oh! 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 oh. the boat. You still don't need a service car? Uh, all right, all right. The boat's down the Serengeti. Stop! Stop, thief! You wait till I get my hands on you, you, you hijacker! Stop at once, you hear? What's the matter? Is he dead? Wanna, to do Serengeti. Now what's he up to? Get him, Sheriff. How dare he touch my queen? Just wait till I get my hands on you. <laughs> ben, what do we do with him now? Wow. You know what I've got here? Rough diamonds. What? This fellow is a diamond thief. And little Benjamin is in for a nice little reward. Did you see a reward? How much? Twenty percent of what these stones are worth. Uh, uh, ben, uh, Ben, if you were to come along as my co-pilot, you'd get fifty percent of the prize. If we'd win, and we'd have to cut across the Shinyanga swamps. Wanna, if you let me go and tell you where there are more stones. You mean more diamonds? Yes. You can tell me all about that when we come to our next checkpoint. Uh, ben, I was thinking that uh, from now on the two of us should share all our revenues. How about it? Where did you say you came from? From Scotland. Why? Would you like to eat something before going on? I told you before, nurse, we're in a great hurry and we don't have time for a meal. Some other time. You are welcome anytime. Do you think you will lose the rally now? I mean, because of the little detour. Little detour. Hmm. Do you know how many miles this little detour was? Eighty. A hundred and twenty. How's the boy? He's very well now. He even swallowed his spoon. Thanks again. Jumbo Kaheri. Jumbo Kaheri. My throat's dry. I must have a drink. We'll soon be at Saranoi checkpoint. Ah, you've been saying that for the last hour. Look, there's a herd of cows over there. They must have something to drink. No. Don't go. Din. 
I suppose you can have what they drink from their cows. Milk? Why, that's terrific. But that isn't... Fresh right. milk in Africa. What could be better? But it isn't... Okay, real. jumbo, jumbo. <laughs> jumbo, indeed. Right. That's a peculiar way to milk a cow. Ben, I'm not feeling very well. The sight of blood... You're not just seeing it. You're gonna drink it. Yeah. What? Drink it? Oh. That's how the Maasai quench their thirst when there's no water. They heal the wound with cow's dung until they need some more. Umgadi. Here. They'll be insulted if you don't drink it. Jumbo. Drink up. Hmm. Hey, James. What? Come have a look. That's Serenaire down there. Our next checkpoint. How oh, nice. Donan, why can't we get this parade going? Control plane three reporting from Saranara. We've just sighted a rhinoceros. It's Erasmus. He's the official mascot here at the checkpoint. I guess he wants to take a ride in the plane. We've just received a report that the boat and the yellow Volkswagen accompanying it appear to be lost. We also have no news from the Ford Capri, which seems to have gone off the route somewhere and hasn't checked in yet at Saranara. <laughs> getting to be a poor. Well, what can you do when a pretty nurse needs help? Well, you never know. You might swallow a spoon yourself. Attention, Nick. Not me. There's rain reported. I'm a vegetarian. Get back on the road as soon as possible. You won't get help till tomorrow if you stay there. Then you can forget He's all right. about the rally. Come on. Let's give it another try. How many times do I have to tell you not to get off the road? You're like the way I'm driving. You can get out and walk. Now? But Bobo, you know I never learned how to swim. <laughs> All right, young fellow. Let's have it. Where's Van Springle? Wanna me afraid. If me tell Springle. Her hospital's in the Donga. Nobody would look for him there. Well, okay. Now get lost. But the next time, you won't get off so easy, understand? What a sprinkle very dangerous. What happens now? I don't know. Perhaps Joe and Angie don't know. Don Sprinkle's a diamond smuggler. Sheriff, from here on, you're on your own. Alone? Oh, no, never. There is another possibility. What is it? Out with it, man. We make a detour through the snake swamp. And save time. Several hours. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go. I'm not afraid of snakes. And another thing, Sheriff. Nobody ever came back alive from that swamp. You've never been there yourself? No, but I've flown over it often enough. I ought to know it. Joe and Angie are all alone out there, and I've been told that Van Springle really likes the women. Well, let's go. Hurry up, man. Well, my little one-eyed darling, feeling better? <laughs> you feel at home here, don't you? <laughs> Are you grateful to Mommy? Oh. Oh, not again. It's too bad I've got to get moving so soon. I'm gonna miss you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden you seem to be in a hurry, Mr. Van Spring. Business, important business. Hmm. Wouldn't you like to come along, honey? Change of scene wouldn't do you any harm. I'm afraid there won't be time for that. And you have to go pick up the medicine. Oh? You mean the medicine has already arrived? We've waited long enough. You have to go to Meshi to pick it up. How about us two driving to Meshi together? If you go, help the nurses with the children. I'll mm -hmm. stay here. Good luck, Mr. Van Spring. See you this afternoon, baby. <laughs> Would you please hold still? You know something? You gotta take a few lessons from that nurse of yours. Stop running around here like a frustrated old maid. <laughs> Did that hurt? I'm so sorry. How much do I owe you, doctor? Nothing. I'm glad you're well again. 
Have a good trip, Mr. Von Springer. See you in church. I'll pay the bill when I get back. If I get back. Do you really think that creep will come back? Yeah, and the sooner you get out of here, the better. I don't know how I'd mm. get rid of him otherwise. you're wanting, you can have it. That's a smart fella. I'll never complain about city traffic again. Careful, Sheriff. That's a water moccasin. Ah, don't worry. I know how to handle all those reptiles. Ah, did you see that? The big river's that way. That's where we're headed. Huh? The river? What are you gonna do with your car? Don't you worry about the love bug. She can swim every bit as well as your queen. <laughs> I've got to take care of something. Well, that's all right with me. I could do with a short stop. Watch where you're going. Jumbo Havari! Ben! 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 I felt... I think I felt something. I was afraid of that. Oh, I think... I think it bit me. There! That... That beast you over there. What are you gonna do with that knife? Cut me open? I've got to get the venom out. Venom? What makes you think that's a venomous snake? That snake's a cobra. Who? Oh. What gives you the idea that it's a venomous cobra? Huh. Here, drink plenty of this. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Ben, Ben, what you're doing there? Now take a good look. How can you hold that thing? I can see you need some education. All cobras are venomous. Oh. Take a look at those fangs. Oh. A couple of drops of this venom are enough to kill ten men your size. Well, why didn't you kill the beast? Hey, look at that now. He's gonna fight that little rat. That's a mongoose, his mortal enemy. Hey, will you look at him go there? He's a brave little fellow, all right. This is Chuck. While the Ford Capri is back in the lead, the search planes report the yellow Volkswagen and the boat are still missing somewhere in the swamp. Those two must be crazy. We'd better turn around and refuel, and I only hope they've got sense enough to do the same. Is your jalopy coming along? <laughs> Ah, oh, don't be insulted. Doo-doo is my friend, you know. <laughs> Hello, my lassie. <laughs> you still able to drive? <laughs> Why, sure. You just make sure that your friend doesn't... <laughs> you take the high road and I'll take the low road. <laughs> oh, me and my friend, we did float down the river with cobras and vipers around us. We glided with ease past the tropical trees on the bonny, bonny banks of the alligator swamps. Oh, me and me, Queenie, we float down the river. The jungle looks dark and so scary, but I'm not afraid of the beasties in the shade on the spooky, spooky banks of Loch Snakey's. I'll take the wit road, and he'll take the tie road, but I've got to win. He on his 
cushion and me in my love bug. And we'll cross the finish line for them. I'll be first, I'll be first, I'll be first, I'll be first. Hark, then there's elephants ahead with no trunks. Careful, Sheriff. It's a family of hippopotamuses. It's a family. <laughs> well, then I'll have a word with Dad. <laughs> Could you and your relatives submerge a wee bit? We've got to get through. Thanks, Auntie Faye. And now, Uncle Fergus, it's your turn. Thanks very much. And now for Grandpa. Come on, Grandpa. That's it. Down we go. And now, Grandma. Come on, dear. That's right, Lassie. Hurry up, men. The family's taking a dive. to follow that route straight through the jungle? Well, only if I absolutely have to. Uh, the second half is even tougher than the first. That separates the men from the boys. Nick Dodd, good luck the rest of the way. Will the last drivers please report to the doctor at the first aid station? The doctor here at Checkpoint Kiyumi is, as always, Dr. Joe from the Maburo Hospital in Banga. Attention, please. Repeating. Will the last driver please report to the first aid station? You wanted to see me, sir? <gasps> Do you always have to scare me like that? I want you to forget about my orders. They've already been carried out without us, sir. You mean butlers stuck in the swamp for good? That is correct, sir. I'll take the high road and you'll dig the low road and I'll be in Scotland. Hey, Ben! Benjamin! Do you need help? Well... I need a rope, Sheriff. Yes, sir. One rope coming right up. Oh! Ben, I've got a rope here. Are you sure it's strong enough, Sheriff? Ah, oh, aye, it's strong, all right, very strong. Okay, I need oh. both ends, Sheriff. Ooh. Uh, narrow end coming down. <laughs> okay, there it is. You got it, Ben? Hey, there. Drop that thing at once. Why should I do that? You asked me to get a rope for you. <coughs> Let it go. Ha! Oh, let it go, I said! If you're trying to tie a knot, I'm good at that, you know. <laughs> Stay away, I tell you! First he wants a rope, then he tells me to throw it away. The man can't make up his mind. <laughs> no, he doesn't even want to talk to me. He must be mad. <laughs> Bring me the snake, throw the snake away. Bring me the snake, Sheriff, throw it away. Come on, we've got to get out of it's here. It's a good idea. The swamp comes alive at night. You just have to hold out a little longer. Then you can have an injection. Huh? An injection? What do I need an injection for? Ben? Ben? I feel so cold. Here, wrap this around you. It'll keep you warm. You mean this plastic? What do you think I am, a sausage or something? The plastic keeps in your body heat. It's warmer than a blanket. All right. Put it on, Sheriff. We've got to get going. Attention, please. Only two more minutes to check in. This is ridiculous. All this racing about, and what do you get for it? Your bone's broken. You mean you came all the way from China just to crash into a tree? I'm from Japan. Well, you must have trees in Japan. Hello, Ronnie. You still here? Ronnie, you stay right there. She wants to go home, too. Hmm? It's quitting time for us, Dr. Tari. I'll go sit with you. 
This is my last patient. You're going home? Yes. What happens if someone else comes along? In two minutes, checkout time is up. Nobody's ever come out of that swamp alive. Impossible. They probably turned back a long time ago. Hello in there! Uh, is this you your jacket? Home? Yes, sir. I thought we were supposed come along. to check in here. Yeah. with us. Ben, we're out of luck. Looks like they closed up shop. Ah, we've made the whole trip for nothing. They made it. They're safe. Oh, they're out of the swamp. You go in, Ben. I'll stay here with Dudu. She's afraid of the dark, you know. And besides, our diamonds are in here. Okay, Sheriff. That's right, mister. There's no one here but us. Did you hear that, Ben? If they've all gone home, then there's nobody here to give me an injection. Dr. Joe isn't here? Sure, she's inside in the dispensary. Okay, Sheriff, go on in. Tomorrow's a big day. There he goes again. I said I don't need an injection. Straight ahead of the crow pies. Ah, I'm sick of all this. Swamps, snakes, injections. Listen, mister. That old jalopy over there. You mean to say you drove that thing through the swamp? Couldn't have made it without her. Jumbo, jumbo. <clears throat> jumbo, Daktari. Hello, Ben. This must be your famous friend from England. That's who it is. From Scotland. Nice of you to wait for us, Doctor. Wait for you? If it were up to me, I'd have gone home long ago. <clears throat> Do you need me for something? Not me. My friend was bitten by a cobra. A little one. I see. Take your clothes off. Later. Not so fast. Ahmed, what's keeping you? There is a line in the car with the diamonds. Take off your pants. What? Drop your trousers. Oh. Never seen a Scottish behind before. <laughs> All right, let's get it over <laughs> with. Steady now. <laughs> Very sensitive, that Scottish behind of yours. There. She's getting in the car. Here, give him a shot every three hours. More shots every three hours. Oh, 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 oh. Quite heavy, Quite heavy, then. And be careful. You like that man, huh? Are all men in China so nosy? I'm from Japan. Three, three hours, what a lot of nonsense. There must be lions what? around here. Lions? Oh, oh. Don't be afraid, you're safe here in the car. Me? Afraid? Alliance. Don't be silly. I once walked up to the King of Beasts, he roared at me. Your King of Beasts must have had asthma. Can you do it better? This is how a lion roars. <laughs> oh, a lion with laryngitis, maybe. No, then. This is how a real lion roars. <laughs> No, like this. Ah, no, no, laddie. Ah. What's that noise? Oh, no. I'll show you again. Listen to this. Ben, that was great. You can do it better than me. You win. Where did you learn to do that? We've got to get going. Will you take your paw off me? You must have taken lion lessons. Will you take your paw off me? What, are you crazy? Look, here are my paws, both of them. Treats me like an infant. I'm getting sick and tired of it, I tell you. I'm fed up with it. Bring me a rope, throw away the rope, take your paws off me. I'm fed up with it, fed up. Leave me alone, I'm mad at you now. Why don't you keep your paws to yourself? You know, a manicure wouldn't hurt you. Oh, ben, Ben, don't desert me, laddie. Look out for the lion! I should have known. How many times have I told you to stay away from motor cars? Ben, the lion is tame. Mr. Butler, the lion is tame. 
Huh? Did you hear that? The lion's tame. Of course, I, I knew it all the time. Well, go on. Why don't you give old Leo a pat? Hello, laddie. Look. I'm afraid there's no way to keep her away from cars. So it seems. Why, that's Ronnie. Well, what do you know? There she is. Why, she's had a save. My goodness. What Doctor, seems to losing you must an go air. home at once and take Ronnie with you. Quick, we better get going, too. Uh, what's that big hurry, laddie? I was just about to recommend a good scalp treatment to the doctor. Uh, for the lion, of course. Some other time. No, really, it did wonders for my aunt here, too. Well, where's our aircraft now? Twenty miles away. Good. Then we'll get to the checkpoint out in Donga before they do, and finally get our hands on those diamonds. But how? With dynamite. <laughs> Control plane three reporting. This is fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, the boat and the little yellow Volkswagen are traveling down the Rufizi River right beneath us. They floated into the checkpoint at Ritonga an hour ahead of the others. No doubt about it. Any minute now, James Butler should be reaching the coast. I think. If the other rally drivers expect to catch up with the air cushion boat, they're going to have to follow the same route straight through the jungle. We're all wondering how the other drivers are going to cope with this new development. Well, I think we'd better exchange transmissions. It's a good thing my queen has a VW motor. Well, and take your time fixing the transmission. You can come along later. Well, what's the matter with you? You're my service car. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Good heavens, man! You expect me to stay here and wait on the beach for a mermaid with a tow truck? Cut the comedy and get going. Besides, I've got to keep ahead of those diamond thieves. The women are all alone at the clinic. All right, I'll see you at Terry Joe's. Try and hurry. Uh, how do you plan to catch up with the airport? I'm going to have to follow the same route as the boat. I'm not about to risk losing the race so close to the finish line. up, Dudu. Let him pass. We've still got 200 miles to go here. Do we turn around? Don't see what else we can do. Move out of the way, Mr. Hallmark! Come on, get in. We'll never make it. You must be crazy.
Hey, Doctari! Doctari, where's Angie, that pretty little nurse? I came to pick her up. Is she ready? Angie isn't here. You sent her away? Why? I can make her happy. I'll give her everything she wants. Clothes, furs, jewels. Yeah, you know what these are? Diamonds. I've got more than I know what to do with. Well, what do you think of that? They were stolen. How'd you find that out? You were raving in your fever. Ah, so that's how it is. You know, I'm getting to like you. I think I'll take you along instead. Me? Why not? You're clever, experienced, and you know a lot. A little too much. Get in the car. No, not in your Mommy. life. Mommy? Mommy, the nurse wants you to come and give the children the shots. No, oh, like it's little hers fella, don't for you? Mommy. You wouldn't Mommy, want to see him tell shot, him to leave huh? me alone. Mommy! You leave my boy alone. Mommy. Why can't you go on alone? We took care of you. I won't tell anybody about the diamonds. Get in the car. Mommy, where's he taking you? Get Mommy! Lost, kid. You'll be back soon enough. You do as you're told. Don't go away. I'll be back soon, darling. Don't go away. Don't go away. <laughs> That's the trouble with those old-fashioned cars. It's a good thing I waited for you. I thought you'd be at the clinic by now. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, what do I do if uh, that diamond smuggler is there? Don't tell me you're afraid of him. A Scot is afraid of no one. Hello, Amago. Prepare for blasting. The boat will leave any second now. The boss will be very pleased. Everything is under control. Over. Mm, ben. Benjamin. Yeah? Uh, <clears throat> you, really don't, you really don't mind if I leave you here all alone? I mean, by yourself? No, don't worry about me. Well, I'll go then. Ben, there's a car coming. Mr. Butler. How oh, nice to see you, Hattie. What a lovely surprise. Indeed. Are you going to the clinic? Yes, I just picked up our medicine that was sent to us from Europe. Uh -huh. Joe's all alone at the clinic, and I don't want Van Springle to get there before you. Why don't you drive on ahead? Well, uh, how about driving along with me and... Love to. Good. Simon, you drive on ahead of us. Slowly. Yeah, Mom, Simon. Nick! Oh, now I know where I saw her. She was standing with you by the plane. Angie! <laughs> That car! Stop the explosives! It's the wrong car! It's the wrong car! run out in front of the car. Mm. They Don't worry. Punish me. It's all right. The medicine. The people are waiting. What shall we do now? I don't know, Simon.
Looking at us as if we'd blown up the car. Probably you're Dr. Hyenamus. Hm. You think he's responsible? Hmm? You don't think we tried to blow up your boat, do you? <laughs> Instead of arguing, you should be thinking of a way of helping the Carito. The mining companies will pay anyone who returns stolen diamonds 20% of what the stones are worth. 20%? You mean our reward? That's what I mean. What if we added the prize money to that? Uh, whose prize money do you mean? Who cares whose it is? As far as I'm concerned, you can come in first. With the money, Dr. Harry Joe could get rid of the hospital debts and also get some new serum. What do you say, Sheriff? Isn't that a good idea? All right. Yeah, but we'll drive through the finish line together. Let him get a little more sleep. He'll probably need another blood transfusion. Will you take this inside for me, please? Uh, Joe, Mr. Butler would like to tell you something. Uh, well, well, it's this way. We, uh, we'd like to give you 40,000 pounds, uh, which is to help you buy a new batch of medicine. That means we can order the new serum right away. Mama, no toto oma. Nadanga. Como oma, daktari. Mini nato koma. Thank you. Well, that's my good deed for the day. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'd really like to know who's behind all this. Well, it must be this Dr. Hyenimus. Hmm? But you needn't worry, the diamonds are safe, and you can be sure of the reward. And I've already worked out how much you'll get, 30,000 pounds. Now I've got a good excuse to come and see you, to deliver the reward in person. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Butler, how can we ever thank you? Oh, why, really, it was nothing, nothing. <clears throat> I'd better go ahead. We don't want any more surprises. Taxi Buona? According to police information, a certain Dr. Hyenamus was arrested in connection with the mysterious happenings at Ndonga. While the cushion flight continues its advance along the coast, the Ford Capri with Nick Hallmark is being chased relentlessly by Bobo Mota in his red portion. Bobo Mota be able to make a final dash for it in this murderous battle? You can bet your life I can make it, my boy! Ah! Look out! <laughs> Come on, make it snappy! Shoo! Shoo! Will you get out of the way? Give me something to throw. What are you going to do? Hurry up! Every second counts now. Come on, what are you waiting for? Here you are, dear. <clears throat> like to drive you mad. Wants to tease me, huh? Where are the car keys? But Bobo, you just threw them over at that monkey. Doodoo, -doo. needs my help, I'm afraid. And you better not try any of your tricks. Quick, this is our only chance. Start the engine. Not that. 
Those are the windscreen wipers. You steer and you step on the gas, I mean. Uh, 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 uh. Give me the key, please. Give me. Uh, 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 uh. When I bought it, it would win. And you took a bicycle in exchange for that car. <laughs> Give me those keys, you stupid monkey! My queen proved her word in this, all right. Yes, and I know where she could really be useful. Huh? Where? Dr. Curry Joe could use a cushion flight for visiting the sick in the jungle during the rainy season. Huh? How about leaving it here for her? All right, if you give me your doo-doo. <laughs> it's a deal. Four beers, Buona. That's my offer for her. What do you say? I'm sorry, Mr. Motor, but I'm not selling my love bug. We'll pay you any price. Mr. Butler, can you persuade your friend to sell us his Volkswagen? That won't be necessary, madam. You're welcome to have it. It belongs to me. <laughs> we, uh, we made a fair exchange. It's not true. You exchanged doo-doo? That's not true. What do you mean by that? You wanted a cushion flight for Bactari Joe. That's why you gave me the love bug. Yes, I know, but I... Uh, that car's worth a lot of money, ma'am. About, uh, $20,000. Oh, we agree, Mr. Butler. 20000 <gasps> Mr. Butler, I don't want your boat anymore. You know how he felt about that car. She ran away. Dudu! Dudu, where are you? Haven't you caused enough trouble already with your Dr. Hyenamus? Where is the scoundrel? In prison, of course. My dear sir, have you nothing to say? Or oh, uh, why? Mr. Butler, you wagered with my husband at the start of this race, if I recall. If you were able to get to the finish in your boat, he would agree to cover the same route once again. Yes. I can already see the headlines. Mr. Ramota rerides the world's toughest rally <laughs> on the bicycle. <laughs> Dudu, where are you? Dudu. Dudu, there's no point in hiding. You ought to know that. I know it's my fault, and I... When I said yes, I didn't realize he meant it when he said he wanted you for his boat. But, but I'm sure we'll meet again soon. You liked Africa, didn't you? <laughs> Goodbye. Kaheri. I just thought of something. How about running away? drive away with Dudu. And Mrs. Mota? She no longer wants it. But Bobo was uh, desperately looking for a vehicle with which he could win. I believe he's already found it. <laughs> Benjamin! Hold on to your old jalopy. Goodbye, Jumbo Jumbo! <laughs> Damn cockroach! Candle, candle. From down to Africa, it really isn't far. The living's great down there. There's plenty of fresh air, the sun shines all night long. The monkeys sing a song. You see the bluest seas, you see the highest trees. There's never any rain. And when you go on safari, you say, Jumbo, we're hairy. I hope we meet again. 
And when you go on to bury, you say, Jumbo, Harry, I hope we meet again.